Hey, what's up, guys? This is Sade with Third Generation Conjure, and I'm coming back with another video. So the topic for this video is timing, okay? I have a lot of people who ask questions as to, you know, especially if they're new to the practice and they're just getting into the practice, they may ask, you know, well, how long is it going to take to work? So this video, we're going to talk about it and we're going to address it. But before I do that, um, let me introduce myself for anyone who is new coming in. I'm Sade with Third Generation Conjure. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. And also, if you need any kind of spiritual uh, products, any kind of supplies, you also want to stay updated with educational resources, you can find us at www.thirdgenerationconjure.com. You can find us on Etsy if you're uh, more familiar with the Etsy platform. And that web address there is www.thirdgenerationconjure.store. Our Instagram is Third Generation Conjure. And our Facebook page, you can like us there, is Third Generation Conjure as well. So make sure that you guys follow us and um, like our page on Instagram and uh, Facebook as well. All right, so uh, we're going to talk about timing. You know, I've had a lot of questions about it. So let's talk about it, okay? So I've had people ask, why some people see manifestations quicker. Okay, the first thing that you need to realize is you cannot base your life or even your spiritual work based on someone else's work, okay? So if you tend to do that, you're already creating blockages in your work, okay? So, and you're probably not going to see much manifestations because you know, you can't be happy for the next person. And I've talked about, you know, this in a video. Um, one of the topics was why your work isn't working. And one of those was having any kind of jealousy or animosity towards someone just because they saw they saw a manifestation or they may be in their winning season. That even goes back just to life and energy in general. You know, don't worry about what everybody else has going on okay but uh, there's a lot of different reasons why you may not see your work work but like I said I got a whole video and we're talking about that so you can find that video um, on our channel okay but we're going to talk about just timing today okay so one reason why people may see manifestations quicker than other people you know why do they see it most people that see manifestations uh, quicker, they've already established a relationship with their ancestors. They also stay spiritually cleansed and they also follow the process. Also got another video about that. It's called The Process that you can check out, but we're going to briefly go over the process because I think it has a lot to do with your timing as well, okay? So, you know, like I said, I have people who ask, how long do you have to wait? One thing about it, we work with spirit in this practice, okay? As spirits of the herbs, as spirits of the ancestors, spirit is what makes it work. And do you really want to put a timeline on spirit? I don't think you do, okay? So spirit knows no time, but there's a little bit more, so we're going to talk about it. But I have an example um, of a review that I got from a customer today, and I'm just going to put it up here. We're going to read it, and we're going to talk about it, okay? Because I think she uh, served a great example. Um, you know, very nice um, young lady that I came uh, into contact with through Instagram. She actually reached out to me. Um, but this was the review that she gave me uh, this morning. So she says, good rise, and I hope you and your family are doing great. I'm literally in tears right now. I just got my keys to my new house. It's been a year with me searching to find a house for me and my children. On December the 10th, you sent me an email with the picture of the ritual. No, uh, now, 12 days later, I'm standing here with my house keys in my hand, crying like a baby. I cannot thank you enough. May you and your family be blessed. You don't only have a customer for life, but you also have a friend. Thank you. Okay. I am very, very happy um, for this young lady because, um, you know, I can't tell everything that people are going through. And, you know, I keep my client situations confidential. But I'm just going to tell you why I chose this particular review because I've gotten a lot of reviews. But I chose her review in particular for a particular reason so we can talk about timing, okay? So 
you may ask the question, why is she winning now? Okay, so with this young lady, she reached out to me in October. It was actually October the 4th. Um, I actually went back because I knew she was following the process. So I actually went back and looked at the time. And she reached out to me for the first time ever, October the 4th. And when she reached out to me, all she asked was if we shipped internationally. So I asked her what country she she was from. She told me at that time we did not ship internationally because there was a lot of things going on with the international shipping with COVID and restrictions. So we just said we weren't doing it. We were just shipping to Canada and the U.S. at the time. All right. So she reached out to me. I told her, you know, because she wanted to participate in a sale and a ritual that we had coming up, which was crown of success this particular month. So I told her, you know, unfortunately, we don't ship. Um, we don't ship to your country. So she asked if she could participate in the ritual. So I'm like, sure, you can participate. You can participate in the ritual. We just can't ship, you know, physical products to your country right now. So um, she asked because apparently she 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 knew her stuff or she was doing her research. Um, uh, she may have been, you know, watching some of my videos. So she said that she felt that she needed uncrossing first. Because uh, she fe said she felt like she had a lot of heavy energy and uh, that was affecting her life. So I, I suggested, yeah, if you feel like you need to uncross, I always recommend doing uncrossing work first and cleansing work before moving on to anything else. OK, so she still participated in the ritual that month, but she got an uncrossing setting of lights uh, from me. And when I tell you I normally burn, I burned a, you know, a typical seven day candle and that normally burns. I don't. I don't run my candles all night because I just, I just don't. And I tell people that, like, I don't like things burning while I'm asleep. So um, I, I burn her seven day candle. Usually like with seven days, if I'm putting it out, you know, I get up early in the morning, and I light them, put them out. Uh, usually I'm up late, put them out late at night before I go to bed. So normally a typical seven day for me may run, you know, about 10 to 14 days, two weeks max is usually what my seven days run, okay? So with hers, her candle actually ran the longest I've ever seen a seven day run. It ran for almost a month, okay? So, you know, when it was finally done, I reached out to her and I was like, <clears throat> you know, I had a clean burn, you know, but, you know, this candle burned for a long time, which is probably a good thing, you know, the work is being worked longer. So she told me, she gave me some feedback, told me that she was feeling a hundred percent better and she had felt like a weight had been lifted off of her right okay but why is she winning now when all she had was uncrossing that's actually not all she had though but you got it she followed the process okay so that wasn't the only work that she did or uh, the only work that she got from me she got uncrossing first okay and that was in october and i told you the candle ran almost a month, you know, so November, I did some road, uh, some block busting work for her, okay, so then she followed up with road opener work, so road opener work was done for her. finally, and this was all in the span of November, finally about the end of November, first of, De about the first of December, because um, it was in December, because it's been running for 12 days, so the first of December, we went into crown of success and she was specifically working on this manifestation for her home uh, for her and her children and you see 12 days into crown of success her work manifested okay but one thing about it she followed the process and she was not too stagnated and too stuck on the timing and when it was going to manifest she trusted the process so I thought that her situation was a perfect, perfect example um, of following the process, because especially with people who are new and they're coming in, if you're a novice, you know, you may come in and you may need some road over the blockbuster, uncrossing, spiritual healing. You might need a 13 herb bath for 13 days. It may be a lot that you need, but immediately you want to come in and you want to, um, light a flame and attraction candle for a guy or you want to um, do some money work when you actually need to be working on yourself and uncrossing yourself because sometimes it doesn't work like that some people expect to light a money candle and two days later or the next day 
they have some money on their floor in their living room. I don't know. But a lot of times people are not given their work time to work. <clears throat> and, you know, I don't typically get a lot of bad reviews, but I have gotten reviews where people, um, uh, you know, I can count on my hand, where somebody has said that the products didn't work for them. But, you know, sometimes with that being said, your energy plays a major part in it, okay? And like I said, and most of the people that I've had said that it's been their first purchase and they probably never even heard of Hoodoo, let alone worked it, you know? So, and you know, I know we're not going to be everybody's cup of tea, everybody not going to like us. I mean, it, it, it just comes with the territory, but, you know, I do try to help people, you know, along their path, especially those who are new to the practice. I try to educate and tell them, you know, a little history and, you know, how this practice works. Okay. But I also feel too, you know, when you are working with your ancestors and like I said, this, this practice came from an oppressed group of people, you know, this came from oppressed people. So this was a practice that was done for survival, not because you needed a thousand dollars to go Christmas shopping. You know, this was something that was survival. So, you know, I feel a lot of times you get that work to manifest really quickly too when um, you really need it. You know, that's still not to say don't come in a desperate state and put that energy on your work. But when you really need it, that's when you normally see it manifest. And when you get to the point where you can let it go and kind of forget about it, like, yeah, I burned a money candle and you're not harboring on that every single day, then you're not putting blockages in your work. If you can just let it go and send it, send it out there know that it's going to manifest and let it go, which I think a lot of people have that problem. Okay. So, you know, this was just a recap. You know, I started, um, started her work in October. This is talking about the customer, um, that I just gave you an example of, and we did uncrossing blockbuster road opener and crown success. We followed an entire process. So with that being said, guys, you know, stop looking at the clock, okay, you know, it will manifest, just do your work, you know, just let it go, and stop being so stuck on timing, <clears throat> you know, even if you're going to do timing, you get a divination for work, you know, a lot of times I'll pull for customers, and I want to talk about that too, just briefly, I ain't gonna keep you out too much longer, but even with that, you know, I may pull timing for a customer. You know, I might have a customer that comes to me and say, hey, I want to buy a house. Okay, I'm going to just give an example. You know, what kind of work do I need to do so I can buy me a house? You know, anytime I pull even divination for work, I'll pull advice cards too. So we can see what kind of work need to be done, if there's any um, kind of blockages or anything that they need to work on. So if I give you advice in those cards and I say, hey, I recommend you do blockbuster work and crown of success work, you know, but you also in the physical need to put yourself on a budget, save you some money, um, you know, get some of your debt down, you know, work on your credit, whatever the case may be. And I see you purchasing a house in six months. Okay. But if you don't follow the advice that I give you in that reading, because I feel like Terrence should be more about advice versus outcomes, because even if you do outcomes, your outcome can always change depending on if you took the advice that the cards gave you. So, you know, if you come back six months later and say, hey, I did some crown of success and rolled over and nothing happened, but you're constantly spending money, not getting out of debt, not saving up money so you can even have a down payment for your house. If you're not following what's being told to you, then don't expect that result. You know, just like I can have, and I've had people, one thing about it too, I've had people that have went to, readers or different readers like I would tell you straight up what I see in the cards but at the same time I also try to encourage people too okay but you know I've had people who went to a reader a couple years ago and the reader told them they were cursed so they just kept that energy of being cursed and they can't do anything in life because this reader told them that they were cursed you know but a lot of times you got to decipher who is legit and who's not legit, okay, so don't let that affect, don't let a reading 
affect your life unless you're trying to take advice and make your life better, if that makes sense. You know, because like you can come to me and say, I want to know if I'm going to be with, and I always use John because it's just a generic name. I, I want to know if I'm going to be with John and we're going to get married. Okay, I might pull cards and see, yeah, it's a possibility that you and John will get married, but what if John's not treating you right? Yeah, it's a possibility that y'all might get married if you stay with him, okay? But that outcome can change if you decide to leave him because he's not treating you right, okay? Makes sense? I hope so, but um, like I said, if you guys can like and subscribe and uh, make sure but if you can just like us on um, Instagram, which is Third Generation Conjure, I'm sorry, follow us on Instagram, which is Third Generation Conjure, like us on Facebook, which is Third Generation Conjure. If you need any spiritual supplies, uh, the website is www.thirdgenerationconjure.com, and our Etsy store is www.thirdgenerationconjure.store. And until next time, guys, bye-bye.